provision for bad and doubtful debts and we are discussing measurement for the provision figure and in this module we will discuss age debt analysis of the accounts receivable which is also known as aging analysis we know very well that there are two methods for calculating or for measuring provision one we have already discussed that was based on expected credit losses in which we see that there are few specific doubtful debts and then general doubtful provision is created and now we will be discussing provision measurement or measurement of the provision for doubtful debt based upon the aging analysis so what is aging analysis in fact aging analysis means the closing balance of the accounts receivable or the closing balance of the debtor we know there are so many number of accounts receivables for which we say that they are our assets we have to receive cash from them so those so many number of accounts receivable or so many number of customers who are appearing or who are part of our carry forward balance of total debtors have different age they have different age the age of those debtors starts from the date of the invoice yes from the date of the invoice when the invoice was raised to them or in simple terms from the date when they became our debtor or in other words the date when we sold goods or services to them got it yes so from that date onwards they are our debtors so we have to see that how old those debtors are okay so how old those debtors are means this is their age so for this purpose we do age debt analysis of the customers and the debtors from whom the recovery is more older or the older debtors will say that they are more risky debtors so for more risky debtors the provision rate will be more and the debtors who are not that old in age the rate of provision will be less so this is the only concept that we will discuss in this module so let's see that uh, analysis of closing balance of debtors is showing us these facts that for less than 30 days there are 90000 amount of debtors first of all you can start from here that we are having a closing balance of debtors with us okay let's say closing balance of debtors so closing balance of debtors is 220000 okay good and from this 220000 there are few debtors whose age is lesser than 30 days there are few debtors whose age is in between 30 to 60 days okay and then there are few debtors who are having an age of 60 to 90 days 50000 and 20000 amount of debtors who are 90 days or more than 90 days older okay well so we will discuss this we means the accountants will discuss this issue with the experts experts will give their recommendations and then the chief accountant or the cfo or the finance controller will sit with the management to decide percentage so it is decided that the debtors having age of less than 30 days we will create 0% provision for them okay the amount of provision is zero and the debtors in the age of 30 to 60 days the provision rate will be 5% okay 
that is 5% of 60,000 is 3,000. And then the debtors in the age of 60 to 90 days, we will create provision at 7%. Okay, it is 3,500. And the debtors who are having the age of more than 90 days, nine, more than 90 days, more than 90 days past due, you can say, 20,000 is the amount and the percentage we decide for 10, for those debtors as 10%, which is giving us 2,000. So making total of this, you see 8,500 is the total amount of provision against this 220,000. This is the bifurcation of 220,000. Okay. And this is the sum of the provisions that we created based on age debt analysis. So this is this much easy. So if opening balance of the provision for doubtful debt is already given, which is 9,800. Remember, our provision is 8,500 for this current period. And opening balance is 9,800. So what we will do, this opening balance that we already had with us will be compared with the closing balance that we want to have at the end of this period against our debtors of 220,000. What we see that there is a decrease in provision. Okay? That excess provision is there in our books of accounts. That should be decreased. So this decrease of 1300 will be accounted for with this accounting entry. That provision for doubtful debt, since it is credit in nature, I have already discussed this thing with you. That provision for doubtful debt, the nature for this account is always credit. So if we have decided to decrease the provision, we have to give debit. Okay. And its reciprocal credit will be given to the bad debts account. Okay. So this is the accounting entry. That provision for doubtful debt would be debited and bad debts account will be credited in this. So the ITTRs in this module are that closing balance of debtors is classified on past due basis. Okay, we classify how long they are due with us. What is their age? Lesser than 30 days, in between 30 to 60 days, in between 60 to 90 days, and more than 90 days. Normally, this classification is followed in the practical life. And then, greater percentage is estimated for older debtors. Okay. And some of all the estimated amounts is in fact the closing balance of the provision for doubtful debt. So remember these tips. Thank you.